hello from the Happy Heretic. Um, the girls are out, sort of on accident. Um, I was, I waited till after 7 p.m. Well, no, I didn't really. <laughs> I was out here about 20 minutes at a time today because it was 96 or 97 degrees. It was insane. Hey, those are my new transplants. Get out of there. Um, but I mowed the grass and dug up this bed to prep it. And those are just dried. What did you guys do? Those are dried coleus leaves that I threw on top. Okay. How about we don't eat mom's peppers? Those are my banana peppers. Those are my favorite. And they're newly transplanted. Where are you guys going? Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, it was super hot today. 96, 97 degrees. And I was really worried about the girls and the worms. So, what I did was... Um, I've been doing frozen treats anyway, but now I have to make sure that I have enough for, oops, there she goes, really, brand new seedlings for both worm bins and the chickens every single day because it's going to be like this for, I don't know for how long, but for sure this week. What you doing up there? I have seedlings. Yes, I do. You can't, I've got to climb up on this big thing. I've got to get a step. Okay, here we go. Woo! Yeah, graceful, right? Okay. You cannot have it. Get down. This is the coleus I transplanted yesterday. Most of it's doing pretty well. Get down, Judith. Gail. Chicka, chicka, chicka. Anyway, the big news of the day is Miss Gail. Let's see if I can get her to... There you go. Hi, Gail. Miss Gail laid her first egg today. Yes, she did. I was so proud. Um, I've been worried about her because she reacts to the heat more quickly than the others. Okay, fine. Um, she reacts to the heat more quickly than the others. So, I went outside and she was in the coop, not out eating with the rest of them. And so I, what, what did I do? I went and could get her. <laughs> I took her in the house. Put her in the dog crate on the diva tuffet, Lucy's diva tuffet. And I mean, I sat down and I looked back over and I thought, well, if she's hot, she shouldn't be on the diva tuffet. Where are you guys going? Let's go find them. Because it would make her hotter because it's furry. So I stood up and this is like two or three minutes after I brought her in, carried her in. And I went to get the diva tuffet out of the crate and somebody laid her first egg. Yes, you did. Where are we going? So that was the exciting news of the day. Um, other than that, I didn't do a lot. Well, kind of, sort of. Messed with the beds, messed with the compost. Straightened up the chicken coop, and a lot of people ask me about it. Um, trash bag over there is because every time I rake, I find stuff that was, I don't know, left here years ago, like a beer bottle and plastic, and got to get that stuff up. But anyway, so I kind of straightened out the chicken coop today, put their continuous water feeder in there. I haven't been using it, but I, I'm, I want two sources of water when it's this hot. And today I misted them, and that seemed to work out really well. I need suggestions. You guys see that? Just barren land? Um, I've been raking because I'm using the leaves and things like that and it's almost completely, we've cut down, well Paul and I both, cut down tons and tons of stuff, but it's got these beautiful, absolutely stunning, great big trees, but that means pretty much, not much grows under it. So I may try some hosta out here Believe it or not, the coleus did not fare well. I think it's actually too shady for, the, for it. But there's a lot of space. I thought about putting a picnic table out here, but all I would do is put all my garden supplies on it. So <laughs> it probably wouldn't end up very, very pretty. This is, um, let's see, what is this? Ginger of some kind. And it's prettier when it's not so hot. But um, mom actually gave me and several of the girls little sprouts I want to say almost two years ago now 
and I've saved it and I planted it out here as soon as we moved in and it's doing much better than it looks like. Nothing does well when it's 97 degrees and it hasn't rained since. I honestly don't even remember the last time it rained and there's the only thing that's in the forecast is um, 40 to 50 percent chance of scattered storms on one day. <laughs> that's pretty much all we got going on. Um, okay, so project today was digging up, the, transplanting the marigolds, um, turning everything under, seeing how far down the good soil, well not good soil, but at least loose soil goes. There's not nearly enough organic matter in this, no worms at all. So I don't know if that's a product of the heat and they dug deeper or the fact that there was not much organic matter in it. And I started over here. This is not dug down nearly as much and there's still stones in there that are kicking my butt. I can't dig in that very well. I need to get the nasturtium. I don't know. I may try to save it. And the rest I'm just going to turn under. Not much grows over here. There's just not enough sun. Hey girls, you want to go back to the coop? Come on, chicken, chicken, chicken. Come on. Come on, chicken, chicken, chicken. Chicken, 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 chicken. Come on, chicken. Come on. No? I know what will get you. Okay, fine. We will end on them doing what they want, and then I will close the video and make them go home. Okay, girls, say goodbye. Chick, 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 chicken. Hi, Gail. Pretty girl. Judith is ignoring me completely. So that's it for the happy heretic. Delighted that we finally got our first egg. And that things are coming together on um, the fall beds. And we'll talk to you later. Like it if you like it. And subscribe if you want to see what crazy thing I'm up to on any given day.